Christian McCaffrey, CMC, episode one. Let's go. We all know CMC had an insane 2019 season. So if you have him anywhere other than this tier one of players going into 2020, you're absolutely insane, right? So 2019, he did have over 400 touchers. He led a ton of teams of championships. I wish he led me to one. I drafted him in 2018, but I missed out on 2019. So that was a bummer. But anyway, so if you take a PPR league, Christian McCaffrey averaged 29 and a half points per game, right? That was first in the league among running backs and by a long shot. Dalvin Cook was second with 20.9 points per game. So basically what that means is Christian McCaffrey was in his own tier by quite a bit. And if you take Christian McCaffrey and you take his points per game and you pin him up against Dalvin Cook and Sony Michelle as if they were just one running back, you would only average one point per week more with Sony and Cook than if you just had CMC. But that's 2019. Going into 2020, we got the new offensive coordinator, the new head coach, Matt Rule, Joe Brady coming in. And, um, you know, Matt Rule's not done. He's clearly given CMC a huge extension already. He's ready to run this offense through him. And both Matt Rule and Joe Brady did have, you know, some history throwing the ball to the running back in college. We know what CEH did, but even Jermichael Hasty and Baylor had 25 receptions in 2019, which is nothing to really sneeze at for a running back in college. Um, but here's what I want to bring up on CMC. So going into the 2019 season, everyone was concerned that CMC's workload was going to fall because the Carolina Panthers need to protect his health and protect their franchise running back. And in 2019, that just didn't happen, right? He was on the field for almost every single snap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you that 2020 is the year that's going to happen. And the reason for this is the departure of Norv Turner. And North Turner running backs are always workhorse backs that never come off the field. We saw it with LT. We saw it with uh, AP. But we also saw it going back to like 05. In 05 with the Raiders under North Turner, Lamont Jordan had 391 touches or a pace for one over uh, 14 games, right? 2006, Frank Gore for the 49ers had 398 touches, okay? So he does this with all of his running backs. And now that Matt Rule and Joe Brady are coming in, we need to take a step back and say, they need to protect him once again. And I think these guys are actually going to do it. And he's still going to have a shit ton of touches, right? But I think his volume is going to come down a little bit between 2019 CMC and 2019 Zeke. So instead of 400 touches, he might be around 370, which is still a ton. And that's why he's still the number one running back. But what I'm saying is he's no longer that full tier above these other three or four guys. And when I say these other three or four guys, I'm talking Barkley, Zeke, Cook, and Kamara. But... What to take away is if you have the 101 and everybody knows CMC is going first overall and in this league you can trade your picks, if you can take that 101, get the two, three, or four in any sort of capital, I would do it because Christian McCaffrey is going to fall into that same tier as Cook, Zeke, Barkley, and maybe Kamara. So that's my take on CMC. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up. Where are you at?